articulate how I feel and why I, I've chosen this path. This has not been easy and I know that not everyone will agree with what I have to say. Um, thank you for listening to me. I'll start. The things that have come to light to all of us over the last few days in regards to Jared, the creator of Adventures with Purpose, has affected us all differently. We are all feeling so many emotions. I personally have, have a number of health issues and find it very hard to share and it has taken a huge toll on me. I have just completed a month's time with both teams in the USA. However, I have never been employed by them and I have not signed any documents. So I can and I will speak freely, as is my right. Firstly, at no stage do I condone any violence to anyone, especially children. All violence is repugnant with sexual, physical and psychological offences that must not be condoned. I have served for years as a youth officer dealing specifically with youth crime and dealing with victims of these crimes, where young persons are often victims and offenders. I come from a legal background, so my experience and opinions, whilst my own, reflect what I have been taught. I believe the criminal justice system that are in place in each country and state are far from perfect, but they are the best tool we have to deal with cases. Facts are important and help to separate the emotions of betrayal, disappointment, anger and disgust, especially when dealing with horrendous crimes involving children. This is a very complex system that has been created to act as fairly and in balance as possible. For this reason, I have attempted to remain distant from these proceedings, not wishing to the outcome to be unfairly affected by my statement. The outpouring of opinions on social media has caused me to remain silent no more. I ask you to please listen to all I say before dismissing my opinion. Once that is done, I realise that many of you will not be able to accept this, nor support me further. I am truly sorry for this, but I will continue in my spare time and in my workplace to help others with my whole heart and my head held high and my conscious, conscious clear. So why do I support Jared, creator of the Ventures of Purpose, even when it appears most have abandoned him? I wanted to articulate what and why I feel over the last few days after allegations and subsequent legal action against Jared has occurred. From a perspective of victims, a victim of child indecent or sexual assault and any sexual assault in a is a victim, no matter the other party's mens rea which means the knowledge of an offence. There can be a pattern of cycle of abuse in some children and young persons. All victims require understanding, care, empowerment and counselling. Forgive me for being so direct in this current explanation, but it is critical in the understanding. The difference between indecent and sexual touching and sexual assault. While this is an oversimplified description, sexual assault relates to penetration where incidents, uh, indecent assault and sexual touching relate to crimes external to them. My understanding of the charges relate to a historical indecent assault where a seven to 13 year old Jared indecently assaulted his younger female cousin, not as reported as 17 years of age. But this will be discussed at length during the court proceeding. This is backed by his sister claiming a similar assault on her. However, I am unaware if this allegation has been included in the current charges, but is during these same time frames. With my work, I have been exposed to countless incidents of indecent assault, sexual and child sexual assault cases. All are heartbreaking and have long lasting ramifications for everyone involved, including those who investigate it. This has created a hardness and a lack of tolerance of these crimes by myself. So what I say is not taken lightly. However, each incident is often complicated and the full truth is often not heard or even reported. And that's for many reasons. Dolly Incapax and Mens Rea. Any offence committed by a juvenile has to be satisfied that the young person is fully aware that what has been committed is wrong. This can be very problematic when dealing with juvenile sexual and indecent assaults. The age for legally no understanding of right or wrong is 10 years old. Between the age of 10 and 18, it has to be proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the young person knew what was done was wrong. In a perfect family setting, a young person is taught right from wrong from an early age in a loving and well-supervised environment, creating a secure and loving family group. This is what I have experienced in Jared's relationship between his two daughters he lives with along with his wife. 
my knowledge of Jared's family unit that has now been shared with me at the time of these accusations was anything but ideal, with indications that Jared himself had been a victim of sexual abuse. There is a lot of evidence that a child who has been sexually or indecently assaulted is at a higher risk of assaulting other children, and this can be a symptom of loss of control of what has happened to them, and then giving that child a sense of control rather than just self-gratification. From my knowledge, it would be hard to prove that Jared had a clear understanding of right or wrong due to his life and family experience at that time and his age, and I would state certainly not to the level of beyond a reasonable doubt. Personally, I can only give my opinion through my experience. Over the last four years, I have only known his actions to be one of integrity. I have not known him to be dishonest, nor has put himself on a pedestal. Others have done that. But this has appeared, he has appeared to act humbly, putting the search of missing persons, providing answers for hurt, frustrated and desperate families and friends. I've only experienced Jared's generosity. I've experienced Jared's personal drive and passion for his creation, with a high expectation of those around him, with those not meeting this, no longer sharing in this outrage. He has treated his business as a business to allow security for his family, along with providing funding to serve the community and families in need, along with supporting a number of his staff. I'm a Christian, and my Christian perspective is this. Sin is sin, whether stealing, slander, murder, sexual, indecent assault, and the list goes on. Without Christ, everyone is dead in their sins, even if they think, think they are a good person or live a good life. All sin is forgivable, though. If the person trusts in the hope of Christ, it's as simple as that. Then the journey really starts. My final thoughts. This has been a heartbreaking time for me personally, to see a friend and his dear family suffer, to see a public act in a way so unforgiving without acknowledgement of their own desperate state and being so quick to pick up stones to throw, to see friends separate and to see a great cause and service destroyed. No matter how everyone else feels or the result of the court matters, these are my thoughts and my beliefs. Thank you for your time, Dan.